is part of the name. And in hypnosis, we literally use dissociation to help the person. And association. And association. So yeah. being extreme in either direction. It's nice to be able to do both. Yeah. And if you learn how to do both, then you can use it in, in positive ways. That's the yeah. whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I said to me when I look at the symptom or the label or the what they've stamped on someone's head when they walk in the door, that all kind of, for me, you know, goes away. And I just look at them, you, my clock, you've seen my clock, right? The now clock. That reminds me, and that, that really, I got that clock because that's the way I work. It's like, okay, right now, let's see what's happening. And they say, well, I'm always in pain. Well, right now, are you in pain? Well, no, but usually, <laughs> it's like, okay, if they're not, then I don't. But if they are, then I say, you know, I start getting the scale and, and, and that kind of thing. But it's about what's going on right now, and they're, as you get into that creative mind, their unconscious starts to, I mean, it, it's listening, it knows what's going on, it knows why they're coming to a hypnotist, it knows the history of their problem, condition, disorder, disease, whatever label they put on it. And it's listening always for something that's gonna help them. It's gonna help them get what they keep thinking about that they want, which is relief sometimes, uh, maybe some goal they're working on, maybe uh, something else, whatever it is though. Their unconscious knows all about all that. And we, uh, I think our jobs as hypnotherapists is to figure out where are they right now. Sometimes it's useful to find out how did you get where you are right now. Of course, they're gonna tell you that anyway, because when they walk in, you ask them what they want, and they're gonna hit play, and the recording starts, right? They're well rehearsed record recording, because this is their story. And this is what they made up in their representation of what's been happening in their life. It may or, not, may or may not be accurate. If you ask some other people that has something to do with their problem, they may have a different opinion. But their recording is what's creating their reality. And that's what we deal with. We deal with a person's what we call IRs, internal representations of anything they're taking in through all the senses. They're making internal representations about that and forming opinions about that and, and that's that filter. We're gonna talk about the conscious and the unconscious today in ways that may be familiar to you or maybe a little different or maybe a lot like you already think of it. Because that's what, it's important for us to know what are we about when we're doing hypnosis with people. And I do think of it being with people, you know. And what, what is, you know, to me this, by the end of this training, the important things I want you to get is, is what is your position in that communication uh, you want to help people or nobody would come in here th to learn this I don't think that doesn't love helping people and that's a wonderful thing to be able to learn how to help them more efficiently and to help them to help themselves which is why I like hypnosis as opposed to a lot of other modalities because it's empowering for the person mm -hmm. instead of making stamping a label on them and now you're the victim because you you know you have this because of this 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 and this and here's all your reasons you have it we bring them in and we, we empower them to find within themselves the resources to shed all those labels, so to speak. So it's a nice thing to do.